Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make the traditional prayer rope knot, the chotki knot. Um, forgive me if I uh, stumble over my words, this is probably my 7th or 8th time trying to film this because this is a very difficult knot to remember, but once you get it, it will serve you well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two pieces of cord um, of the length that you want. Now a traditional prayer rope has 33 50 or 100 beads on it, but you're not limited to that. Um, unlike the barrel knot tutorial that I've already done, you can really only make these beads in one size as far as I know. Um, so they're good for things that, uh, that don't necessarily need divisions in them. Uh, if you want a division in them, you can slide a bead onto the thread in a certain point, uh, a, a normal bead. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot in this end. It's going to be a temporary knot. We're not going to keep it there. So you can just do a simple overhand knot, or you can do, like I do, a slip knot. And we're going to do that about six to eight inches from the back here. I'm doing it a little shorter. Um, you can do yours a little, a little, you can have a little more uh, tail if you want to, but I use a six to eight inch tail when I'm making them. I'm just not doing it right now because I'm working with shorter cords for demonstration purposes. So that's going to be our temporary knot, our anchor knot. So we're going to take our anchor knot and we're going to slide it over our index finger. And we're going to butt it up right here against this index finger. We don't want it off to one side. We don't want it loose like that. We want it to butt right up against there. We're going to turn our hand over and now we've got two cords. Now I'm using the same color cord here. Both my cords are the same color, but you can use different colored cords and get a really interesting pattern that comes out of them. Um, I have an example uh, that I will show you, maybe if I edit this video, um, but it's, it's a really interesting design and I suggest you try it at least once. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cord right here and we're going to wrap it around our thumb. And we're going to pinch this loop and pull some of that slack, dip our middle finger in, slide it on there. And see it crosses here. So we're going to take that cross and we're going to move it down here and open this up. When we open that up we're going to pinch this little guy and pull him through a little bit. Like that. Because what we're going to do now is drop this loop off our thumb and replace it with the little guy we just got right there okay and then you can tighten up your knots and you'll see we've kinda got a square look going on right here if you have some kind of four-sided shape it can be a trapezoid or a square or whatever you want but as long as it's got four sides to it you're you're on track so far now comes the tricky part this cord goes under this cord. We're going to open up these two fingers and put the cord right there. We're going to wrap it around these back two fingers here. Bring it all the way across the hand to where it touches the thumb and tuck it under there and then pull all the way through. Now that gives us another cross under here. We're going to pull that up see how it crosses there and we're going to slide that over our thumb so now we've got this big open space in the center now we're going to take this cord and do this similar thing right here go back behind these two fingers and then we're going to turn our hand this way and you see this little hole right here in the web of my hand that's where we're going to tuck this little guy Tuck him in there and pull him through. Alright, so now this cord on this side goes back under the other cord. And it's going to take another trip between here around these two fingers and it's going to wind up by the index finger. You see where we're holding onto it here? We're going to pull this out right here. I don't know how well you can see that. And we're going to, that's where we're going to put this one in. And we're going to pull it all the way through. Alright. 
That's our knot. That's our knot. It doesn't look like a knot yet. We have to make it look like one. So what we're going to do next is also Trixie. We're going to turn our hand this way. We're going to find which one of these three loops corresponds to this. Whichever one is connected to this anchor knot. Is it this one? No, that doesn't pull the anchor knot. Is it this one? That one pulls the anchor knot. So that's it. See how it does that and how it tugs? That means it's directly connected. So you're going to pinch that between your thumb and your forefinger. You're going to bend your thumb out, drop those other loops, and pick this loop that you've pinched back up. That's one side. Now the other side, we're going to turn our hand this way, and this is going to be hard for me to show you because I'm having to bend around like a, like a pretzel. But we have three lines that go across two fingers, but one line that only goes across the middle finger. That's the line we want to keep. So we're going to pick these up between our middle and our forefinger, like this, to make room to pinch that loop. We're going to pinch that loop, pull all these loops off here, drop everything but the pinched loop, the pinched loop that was only on the middle finger, and put it back. Now we pull, and when we, when we pull, we want to get our hands to spread out a little bit. Like that. Alright. Now we got two ears. It looks like a cross, doesn't it? We got two ears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these ears, and on one side of them I'm going to pull, and it'll butt it up against that anchor knot. I'm not going to go all the way, I'm just going to go part of the way. Right? There we go. But we've still got these two ears. So what do we do with them? Well, we're going to cup one of them in our hand like this to get it out of the way. And we're going to turn this guy over and see where he goes under here. Grab this on the other side and tighten it. We're going to do that one time. Under. There it is again two times over see how it goes under here three times we're going to find the cord the loose end of the cord down here that corresponds to that and we're going to pull until we tighten it so one two three then pull the cord we're going to do the same thing on this one it goes under here so we're going to grab it there one, we're going to turn it over, it goes under here, so we're going to grab it down here after it goes under. Two, and we're going to turn it one more time, and it goes under here, so we're going to grab it here where it goes under. Three, now we're going to hold the knot and pull. Ta-da! Now that we've got a knot on here, we can take out this anchor knot. And then this tail you'll work with later. The first knot becomes our new anchor knot. And we do the process all over again. They're that simple. Uh, I know it doesn't seem simple, but once you do the motions a few times, you'll get it down, I promise. Um, this is good for single-sized beads on a cord. Um, they're, very, they're very thick and chunky, so they're very easy to feel when you pull them across your knuckles. Um, and it's just a really good knot. I, I really enjoy these. I enjoy making them. Um, I don't enjoy filming tutorials for them, but I enjoy, I enjoy making them. So, there you are. Enjoy.